Timothy Brower with the Memphis Tiger Network. We're here at the El Marone Fieldhouse and it's senior day. The seniors went out on a high note, taking down Marshall 63 to 53. The Tigers recognized senior Jamila Ajanaku, a transfer from MTSU that came back to her hometown to finish her collegiate career with Memphis this season. And senior Nicole Dixon finishes her lustrous four years with the Tigers scoring 1,630 points and 775 rebounds. The Tigers started the game off strong with a 14-2 run in the first 16 minutes. Belkis Abdul Qadir scored two three-pointers in the first half alone. Strong offense and corresponding defense caused the Tigers to lead by 18 going into halftime 40-22. Paul Dixon in some trouble, finds Abdul Kadir. Throws up a three with a hand in her face and she drills it. Looking for Ajanaku. Ajanaku, quick pass to Hearn. Hearn. Great. Inbound, back doors to do. Hearn is good again. The pass. Tigers kept the same momentum from the first half and kept their lead. Marshall started a run midway through the second half to cut the Tiger lead to 10. But the Tigers held on to the 10 point lead for the next five minutes before Marshall put together another quick run, cutting the lead to four with four minutes to play. But thanks to clutch rebounding and strong defensive effort down the stretch, the Tigers held on for a 63-53 win. Ariel Hearn led with 17 points and six rebounds. Bilkis Abdul Qadir scored 16 points, and Asia Fuqua Bay put forth 14 points and eight rebounds. We'll wait for the defender to pass and gets the easy button. I mean, we came out with a bunch of energy. I mean, we, we've been practicing real hard about getting stops and, and closing out on the three-point shot because they shoot a lot of threes. And we just came out and, and we did our defensive plan how we wanted to in the first half. And, in the second half, we let up a little bit, but I mean, we, we never gave the lead, and that was great for us. Long four years, I'm sure at times, lots of long practices, early mornings of the off season, getting up. And I see you guys are running the loop around here at 6 a.m. with Coach Jenkins and in practices and school. But, but now at the end of four years in your regular season, does it seem like it went by quick? Um, yeah, it went by very quick. You know, just, <laughs> it was just the other day, I, I, I feel like I had just stepped on campus, and now it's over with. So, I mean, it went by very quick for me, but it, it was a great four year experience for me. Remarkable. Like, I have no words for how the team just, you know, welcomed me with open arms and how I just stepped in like I hadn't missed a beat, like I had been here forever. Like, I really felt like I was at home with the team. I know when I first called Coach Melissa, she said, I knew we would get you here. <laughs> I just didn't know when. And um, she was right. She was right. As soon as um, I made the decision to transfer, I knew that Memphis was where I wanted to be. How, how was it getting to play back common? Your family and friends were here to see you tonight in, um, in a lot of home games. How special was it? to get to, to put on that blue and gray? Well, you know, you never know um, how much you're going to miss something until you don't have it. So out at middle without having any, you know, family there, it makes me really appreciate them being able to see me here, and it just makes me want to play even harder for them. It certainly wasn't a night that uh, Nicole Dixon's going to want to remember from a shooting percentage standpoint, but we got the win. It was a hard-fought second half. I thought we played incredibly well in the first half. Our defensive game plan was very, very sound. We did a great job. In the second half, I thought we gave up penetration and got in rotation and put them at the free throw line. So, of course, we made it interesting, but uh, we're going to take the win on senior night and feel good about ourselves tomorrow. Nicole and Mimi, the perfect seniors uh, for, the, for a young team that uh, experienced a lot of adversity with injury because neither of the players, we talk about Nicole, but Mimi's the same way in, in some aspects. Not too high, not too low. They were able to don't get too excited if we win because we've got a long season to go, but don't get too low if we lose because we've got a long season to go. That's right, and I, I'm going to talk about Mimi first. The thing I love about Mimi is that she's getting an opportunity. I don't know how many minutes she played tonight, but she's getting an opportunity to be a real contributor in her senior season. And if you're a senior and you've kind of been waiting your turn to play, that's – that's a really that's a really nice thing. You feel really good about your college career when that happens. And then of course Nicole Dixon, you know, if somebody asked me just a moment ago, well was it senior night nerves that had Nicole Dixon? And I go, you don't know Nicole Dixon. She doesn't even know what nerves are. She just comes with ice water in her veins and plays and typically delivers. And tonight for whatever reason she could she couldn't buy one. She was awfully frustrated. I was frustrated for her, but the fact of the matter is they're both going to remember they won on senior night, and that's the important thing. The 63-53 win for the Tigers sets the pace for the Conference USA Tournament next Wednesday in Tulsa, Oklahoma. For the Memphis Tiger Network, I'm Kathy Brower.